Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can make a webcam overlay for your YouTube videos and your live streams. And if we can hit 300 likes, I'll actually be leaving the download link in the description to this PSD file so you guys can edit it for yourselves, you know, change it up, you know, see what layers there are and you know, just have a better understanding. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do here is press file new. I'm going to make it 920 by 1080. And here. Here's going to be the actual video. This is the size of your video and the webcam is going to be like somewhere in the top right. And it's important that's transparent or it'll be it'll like it'll, it would have covered your entire video here. So I'm just going to press the rectangle tool and press in the middle and make it 920 by 1080 or the width and height of your video. So maybe it's, I don't know, maybe your webcam records in like a square format. Just do 920 by 920. And here, let's just center it. Press on the layer here. Make the fill nothing. Make the stroke whatever border color you want and whatever and like how thick you want it and then now press ctrl t hold shift and put it into whatever corner you want it in in your video so i, I usually put it in my on top right here and right now i'm just gonna put like a black layer at the background because it's really hard to see like if i were to add like a white with text in here i wouldn't be able to see so let me just add black here here now i'm um, it's easier to see here so let me just zoom in here so the first thing i do is add, add i'd add a little cool effect to the bottom of the text so using my pen tool just make a new layer on top of it make sure that it's on top uh use the pen tool press shape and not path and make the fill whatever color you want it should be complementary you know kind of looking cool with it uh, with whatever color you're using so i'm using yellow with it i guess it looks cool with red so i'm using it don't make the stroke anything so make it that red line crossing diagonally and so basically what i do first actually i find the center of it so here later let me just zoom out i'm gonna center this press ctrl a press uh the move tool press this horizontal vertical centers i mean align vertical centers and align um horizontal centers and i'm gonna find the center here by just move let's move this out just find the center it's gonna automatically find it for you. Like when you get near, it's gonna go here. I'm gonna move the webcam after I actually finish it. I'm just doing this so I can find the center of it. Like after I finish this, I'll move it back to that same corner. And so here, like I said before, you gotta find the pen tool and whatever color you want. So I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna put random lines here. Whatever I think looks cool. That looks very cool in my opinion. And as you can see, like the, the right side is very empty. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the right. So right click on that layer right there, press duplicate layer, press OK, press Control T. And then you want to just right click, press flip horizontally so you can like just place it the same side. That looks OK. It might look bad to you. I understand that because, well, I just started. The next thing you want to do is select either white or black. Or like I'm going to add more accents to it. So I'm going to add a really cool accent going through this. So I'm going to choose white here because I have a black background. And I'm going to like just add this random line here there just just that i just did that really quick and just duplicate this as well just control t and flip horizontally and it, as you can see right there it started at that right corner so i'm going to do the same thing for this side um is that the same oh that's somewhat the same you guys can obviously change that if you guys really had that time i don't have it right now so i'm not going to do it and then you want to add another layer so i'm actually gonna take this out right now and i'm gonna add a black layer so it's gonna have my name there and the reason i'm gonna do this is so that people can see my name they can see my social media links and stuff so let me just remove this it's harder to see so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna i'm just gonna make a drop shadow guy so you guys can see it better now you guys can see better it obviously doesn't look like that it looks a lot better than that that looks really ugly and here just press this layer select black or whatever color you want you can you, i'm not forcing you to choose any color here start here and you know, end wherever you want. So let's, that's a little bit too high. It'll cover your face and whatever is there. So, and as you can see, it covers the 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 bottom, the layer at the bottom. So just move it to the very bottom right there, and then it, it shouldn't cover it anymore. And then duplicate it. Press Control T horizontal. It's all the same. It's very easy. Not hard at all. And then you can see that it's right there. And so let me just delete that ugly ugly drop shadow and let me just enable that like you won't be able to see it right there and so basically here let me just change this to gray so you'll be able to see it i'm pretty smart here gray and then i'd add my name here obviously you can see that it may not be high enough for you to like add your name because 
um, it's really low down like if you really wanted to add your text you can make it that part higher so here let's just write steven van or something like that like what i'm saying is that the text doesn't really fit it's like really tiny so you wouldn't really be able to add it so you would have like had to add like a higher arc on this that's what i'm saying you can add your social media on the left and right next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a new layer and then i'm gonna press on that and hold shift to the very bottom not the background but press Control e and then you'll see that they're now joined together and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press Control t again hold shift and move it to whatever corner you want whatever corner your webcam is on the problem is that like the text is very small that's why i said you can make it bigger and you know arc it up so yeah and now you can like zoom in here the color combination may not be good so i'm actually going to change it here uh, let's find a color that's cool like there that's very cool like those are all the blues and stuff that looks cool and i'm actually gonna press control control like press control on both and then press control e to join them press blending options and then go on gradient and then just lower it so it gives that metallic look you see what that you see what i mean make it at low there that's pretty good and then now i'm going to tell you how you can add it to your video so remove that press save as uh, let's go to what overlay and save it as a png you have to save it as a png or, or it won't appear here okay and now you go into your sony vegas or whatever video editor uh here so here's my webcam overlay you can see in the top right i don't think i have a video of myself I actually do logitech here and you can see it right there and you see that your face is not that big i mean it's too big so you're just gonna you're gonna move it obviously resize it to whatever how big it is okay something like that you, you guys know what i mean and then i'm gonna add like a random clip here here are my friends unboxing we did an unboxing on this so like why not add it and then this could be like a reaction video hey i'm doing a reaction video to something so yeah i'm doing it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it and you want to get that psd file just hit the like button yeah, my name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.